Hey everyone, it's me. I want to talk about the absolute desperation we feel <laughs> when we go through a breakup, and primarily when it comes to parental estrangement. A lot of people say, what can I do to get my kids back? And short of winning the lottery, which the lotteries are pretty high nowadays, up into even over a billion dollars, I don't, I'm really not sure. <laughs> and I'm only saying that because I've been in this situation for now 13 years. And I know it because I see on my Facebook feedback where I mention um, the situations I'm going through with the estrangement from both of my daughters. And so it's been a long time. And I know there were times I cried, begged, pleaded, reached out to other people. Hey, can you talk to my kids? And I oldest came back for a short amount of time. Uh, then she left again. And that's been, you know, second time around. It's, I think about seven, eight years since she's been gone the second time. And so I just want to say I understand it's almost as if someone kidnaps your child and you are willing to do anything. You're willing to pay any type of ransom it takes in order to get them back. And the difference between kidnapping and estrangement is someone in kidnapping, someone takes your child and holds them from you. In estrangement, it's when your adult child or even late teens, sometimes teenagers may go live with an opposite parent. But in estrangement, when it comes down to it, it's the child or the adult making a decision to break free from maybe a parent, maybe parent, a step parent, grandparents, extended family, or some disappear altogether from, from life and decide to start over elsewhere. And I just want to say that I think a lot of us lose our dignity, self-respect, any moral sense of being because we are so desperate for answers. We are so desperate just to have them back. And I want to say it's a very difficult position to be in. I remember being there. And now what I had to do was not only, like I'd mentioned in the past, go to therapy, but I had to start focusing on the people that chose to stay in my life. And those are the people that want to be here that I don't have to strong arm, pay, <laughs> manipulate, uh, attempt to control. These are the people that just say, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and doggone it. <laughs> I like you. So focus on the people that instead have chosen to stay. Most important. Don't forget about the other children. If you have a multitude of children... And you have some that have stayed and one that has chosen to go. Please focus on the ones that have stayed. And start to, to cease discussing the one that's not around. Because when you do, it only brings about turmoil, chaos, sadness. And really, there's nothing you can do. So please focus on the people in your life. They are so worth it. They are so worth focusing on, spending time on. Most important, the time you spend with people in your life, you want it to be happy and you want it to be filled with joy and not sadness, despair, gloom, anxiety, and stress. So try to do that. Just say for an hour, write down the people in your life, write down the people you're grateful for, the people that have stuck it out, that have listened to us <laughs> after being a broken record. Just please focus on them and just write down the things you really appreciate about them. And then send a, send out a card or send out a text or, or create a gift box for them. <laughs> for most important, putting up with me. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to talk about. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day.